So let me get everything ready here. The chat is open if anyone wants to join. So hello everybody, I'm Jade, aka Sky Spider. Uh, we have Meatball over here as always. Um, do my general bookkeeping as always. If you want to, go follow me on Twitter at Sky Spider. My YouTube, where you can find all of my videos from the past, is at my full name, Jade Skywalker. You can find all my music on streaming and download sites under the name The Eternal. Um, today's EDH deck, we've got the link posted uh, down here, so you can look at the deck list anytime you'd like. We're going to be playing Saskia. I got a request for a four-color deck, so... Saskia was the one I've been meaning to build the most, so I thought I'd give him a go. So Saskia has every color but blue. Uh, he has a 3-4 human soldier, vigilance haste. When, in, when he enters the battlefield, choose a player. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, it deals that much damage to the chosen player. So in other words, your creatures are going to do either double damage to one person, or if you just can't hit somebody, Sasuke can make sure everything you hit someone else with is going to hit them. So the land base on this is actually pretty expensive. Um, we've got all kinds of dual lands, shock lands, fetch lands. Um, when I looked at the price value on here, uh, let me get the deck back up. The difference between paper and online is just, it makes my jaw hit the floor when I saw it. Uh, this is a $3,100 deck for paper and $240 online. What the fuck? Um, honestly, that's because of the dual lands in it. Uh, these are under $10 each on here, and uh, some of them are approaching $1,000 in paper, which is just getting ridiculous. Not to mention Gaia's Cradle, which is up to like 500 Just paper cards are getting ex exceedingly expensive lately. Um, so we're running Trilands as well. Um, they may come in tapped, but we really need to make sure we can get to our colors in a deck like this. Uh, we're doing my normal land thing here. Um, also throwing in Fellow Warstone because I'm pretty sure someone's going to be playing at least one of our colors. But the only way it doesn't happen is if I'm playing three mono blue decks. Uh, we're focused on combat, so creatures are a big thing here. Uh, this is one of my favorite cards. It's just a little dopey mana dork that deals the damage every time I tap him for mana. Uh, we've got Sunforger to fetch out uh, instants that we need uh, on sudden notice, since we've got like all the Orzhov removal spells, which are among the best in the game. Uh, Lesh is in here to do some extra animation out of our graveyard. Uh, we've got Anna Finza in here to slow down uh, Marin and... Uh, oh god, I just played one at the league tonight. I cannot think of the name. Muldrosa. There we go. Um, we've got Helm of the Host because who wouldn't want more Saskias? Honestly, everything in here is just all about getting the combat, dealing a ton of damage. Gisela gets a little broken in this deck. Um, so I deal damage to player A. I've named player B with the ability. I deal damage to player A. It doubles because of Gisela. So now I've dealt 2x damage to player A. So now Saskia triggers and says, okay, now deal that much damage to player B. Well, now a new damage trigger is going on the stack, so Gisela doubles that again. So we're actually dealing 4x damage to the targeted player. Uh, it's, it, she actually quadruples the damage that Saskia's ability grants. It's, it's kind of bonkers. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get a, a decent game going. Hopefully we don't have to play with too many tier 1 broken ass decks tonight. I just played in LGS League tonight. Um, won both my pods with uh, Tisa and Tatobia. It was actually quite fun. Sadly, since I'm in upstate New York, no one has air conditioning, so it was over 90 degrees in the shop. 
Maybe it was kind of terrible. I'm glad I didn't shower before I left. Um, I'm actually dying to get into the shower after this game. Because, yeah, that, that was a very sweaty evening. Sweaty evening of magic. Sixteen guys in a room about, uh, about half the size of my living room. Let me rephrase that. Fifteen guys and one girl. Because, of course, I'm the only girl in the room most of the time. I prefer playing at my normal local game shop where there's like probably 10 women that play out of the 30 of us. It's really refreshing. It's really sad to me that Magic can't get to that level where we have true parity at shops. Um, the game legit is 50-50, but the women are pretending to be men on MTGO or we're just playing, like, a kitchen table magic. Um, the shops are just so unwelcoming to women most of the time. It's, it's a real tragedy. And, like, you tell some guys that, and they just, they refuse to believe it. Like, they just don't think that's happening because they don't see it. I don't know. Believe me, guys, it, it's really fucking happening. So I put a roach in with, uh, with Meatball uh, a week and a half ago. And I figured I'd just dug into the sand, or the, uh, the peat moss, and uh, I don't know, like she'd get to it eventually. And uh, this morning when I sat down and took a look at her, she had a roach in her mouth and she was just going to town on it. So I guess she finally found it. Took her long enough. After running from that other roach the other day, I'm surprised she caught one. I don't know if she's still working on it now or not. I think she's done. Unlike some true spiders, tarantulas do not suck the liquid out of their prey. They literally chew them up. It's, uh, it can get kind of gross if you feed them stuff like mice. Which is why I don't feed mice to my pets. Well, one of many reasons. But yeah, you'll find like little bits of roach legs in cages occasionally if they don't finish them all. It's actually one of the reasons I like tarantulas so much. You never have to clean their cages. Like I clean once a year and I'll like, oh, I forgot something. No wonder I'm not getting a game. Derp. Um, you only have to clean them once a year as long as you spot clean any food they don't eat. Um, otherwise, they're completely clean animals. I'm only cleaning them just because it feels weird not to, really. I was playing some Legacy Popper and Modern last night, so I still had that on tournament practice. Trying out a bunch of fun new decks, like a couple from the Professor. His uh, Red Green Cascade Popper and uh, Mono White Heroic. They're really fun decks to play, I just don't see them being ultra competitive. So I've still got my green Stompy and my two Delver decks for a competitive popper. Whoops, keep clicking the wrong one. On days it updates, it puts it in a weird spot. Um, while we're waiting. So yeah, the Mono White Heroic deck is pretty damn fun. Like, Laguna Band Trailblazer, Carlin Skyguard are really fun creatures. Like, you just enchant the shit out of them. And it's just such a nice, simple deck. Uh, the Cascade deck, um, when he did a video on this, there was a huge buyout of the cards in it, so it took me a, a couple days to get them all. And then there was a price spike. But basically, you're looking at Violent Outburst, the Cascade, 
And then like hyper efficient creatures like Jund Hack Blade, which is a 3-2 haste for two. Naya Hush Blade, 3-2 Shroud for two. And then just a bunch of like hasty um, efficiency creatures, Burning Tree Emissary to get almost a cascade effect. And like Chain Lightning to finish people off. But yeah, my best decks are definitely Slivers. Let's see if I can get the whole deck on picture. There we go. Here's the whole deck. Uh, is it Delver? Of course. It's like the best deck in Popper right now. Feels weird to have masterpieces in a Popper deck. What we are playing, it sounds like. Yay! Okay, Tayo 9 is going first, huh? I'm going last. Tarmi, I feel like I've played that person before. So we got Solkanar, Demon Lord Belzanok. I have played that before. And CDC. This should be a fun game. These commanders look enjoyable. I don't like these two colorless lands. I think I'm gonna mulligan this. Yeah, this hand isn't playable. Not at all. So chat is open if anyone wants to jump in and chat. Always happy to talk magic while I play magic. Okay, this hand's good. I love this land because it's basically a double fetch land. And with Mana Crypt, I don't have to worry about the fact it costs two. Probably hold the Mana Crypt until turn two. I'm thinking Bayou and Plateau are my two lands. Ooh, do we have deep mulligans? Okay. Ouch. Come on, keep the hand. Don't show me your combo deck. Okay, I think we're playing now. I think we're good. I don't think we have any broken combo decks here. It's like I know combo is like the strongest strategy in a lot of formats, but not everybody likes playing combo. Like I can't stand it. I think it's boring. Okay, so we got three people starting with six cards in hand. It's a little rough. Oh shit. Oh, someone else joined to watch. Okay. I thought someone dropped right there. I was like, what the hell? Never quit just based on your opening hand. Things can always change. So these two in Soul Card are the same colors, just one is green, one is red. Okay, the only color missing for Exotic Orchard if I draw is white. Okay, so it'll be a tri land this game if I draw it. Can't really do much with blue. Now the reason I'm holding the mana crypt is I don't want to have that extra coin flip when I have nothing to do with it this turn. But next turn I'm totally playing it, because I want to use it on the Crossing Bridge. Which costs two to fetch. Hmm. 
me go let Tyler know I'm streaming. I know he likes to jump in. Want to see them? Yeah. He was asking me earlier if I was going to stream tonight. I said, come on, I'm doing a deck a day. Got a stream. Hopefully you're a fast top user. Yay, dual lands. Ooh, we get to do a lot of fetching this turn. Casting. Let's go get the Bayou and Plateau. Oh, they're equivalents. Do I need them on tap this turn? Oh, they're not going to be untapped. Let's see, Order Grand Tomb. Then, well, why couldn't you leave it stretched out for me? So, Foundry, no. Play Eric Mesa. Don't need any more white, so let's go for red green. Red green sounds good. This one's also going to come in tap, so let's take Stumping Ground. There we go. That's how you mana fix. Person Burge is the best fetch land. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, sure, you gotta pay two mana to activate it, but getting two dual lands. Oh my god. So good. Playing four color decks, or five color decks, you really gotta be careful with your land base. It's it's very tricky. Um, if you're not really careful about how you build it and how you play it, you're probably going to end up down a color. Like turn two, you can see I've got all four of my colors. Watch is getting uncomfortable just from all the sweat underneath it. Yeah, I gotta clean my watch tonight because of that. I'm just gonna leave it off. Can you tell I never take my smartwatch off? It's like just to charge. I think I may avoid my. Uh, non air conditioned shops until the heat wave is over. The weather is horrible for this area. Oh, we got bright eyes. Judging by the number, I'm going to assume bright red eyes. Want to make sure I always yield it to the top. Pain in the ass. Unless I'm mistaken, I think I can kill Skalski on my turn. I just have no idea who I want to target yet. So I want to wait until someone becomes an obvious problem. Oh, that's a card I'm meaning to pick up. I couldn't remember the name. I don't usually play a lot of tutors, but when this $400 card is only 63 cents, might as well. Never hurts to have an extra tutor if I do end up running a combo deck eventually. Also helps mana fix some five color decks. 
extra ways to get your chromatic lantern out. Chromatic on them, which is the other name I couldn't remember. Dollar seventeen, not bad. Is it my turn? Okay, yield to the mana crypt. Hope everyone else is default yielding to that. Well, this game seems to prefer heads. In the real world, I always pick tails. Yeah, I don't want to play Sasuke at this turn. That just feels weird. I'm going to wait until I see a threat on the table. I am going to play Rotten, though. Red, any colors? Good burn. Uh, let's go against the mana ramper. Seems like a smart play. Um, I'll take a break. I don't think I can do anything with it this turn. And I think with Sasuke, the way you need to play him is you wait until someone is impossible to hit, and then you choose them. Or if someone's just playing that tier 1 deck you know is going to be a problem, then they're an easy target for it. Grave Titan on... Not turn four? Jeez. Pretty good. I haven't seen Great Titan zombie tokens yet. Oh, those are the boring ones. So many better zombies. God, these went stale on a day. I blame the heat. I think I named the player with Brave Titan now. It's a very scary card to get through. I'm used to le leaning back and like not messing with anyone for a while. Feels weird to play like so aggro. I suppose Top didn't have a masterpiece in Kaladesh. Feels like one of the cards that would. Could have been really beautiful. I just love these like all gold looking cards. Oh, you're supposed to always yield. It's going to be a very slow game if you have to manually respond to my mana crypt every turn. Hey, we're at 50 50 so far. Keep the land coming, that's good. I want my best area and play. Card is important to me. I love that scribe. Okay, let's go for it. We have white. We have red. 
we got green, we got black. Add it up. It equals Sasuke Nope. We're going to name Tarly. But we are not going to attack Tarly. Look at this, right? Yes, you do. Let's move that over. Let's attack everyone except Tommy. I'm probably gonna get hit in return. Um, How'd you go up to four five? Oh, because you're black. Oh. That's nice. Oh, is he this last skill? And that is how it's done. We just got seven damage dealt to a player. We didn't even bother attacking. We got three blockers in the way. One with that touch. And that is what Sasuke is awesome. I love these four color commanders, they're all really good. I will eventually be building decks for all four, all five of them. Atrax is the only one I've had a deck for for a long time. When they first got spoiled, I mean, or first uh, got announced, like we didn't know what they were going to be yet, I said immediately, whatever the one is that's not red, I will play the shit out of that one. Because that's the only color I don't really like playing. Again, because it's like kind of too aggressive for my taste. And go figure that ended up being the best one. So boy did I get lucky. Oh, we're just making swamps, super swamps. Wait, that number can't be right. How in the fuck is that? What broke that? I'm oh, just taking advantage of the glitch. Okay, now I'm really glad I chose that player. Jesus. That's a fucked up glitch. Wow. Everyone's just dropping out of the game because of it. I can't blame them, that's a really horrible glitch. Seriously, what the fuck? Are you seriously going to take advantage of it? I'm paying for some fucking... Yeah, it's probably a panel fighter. X is a hundred. Fuck you.
Yeah, this this game is over. Yeah, we're gonna have to restart that one. Holy shit. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Damn, I was doing really good too. Now watch, I'll have like a horrible draw and the deck won't play at all like it's supposed to on camera. just put out an update today. That's a brand new glitch. Like, I've seen a handful of tiny glitches on here, but that is a really bad one. Hopefully they do keep the word and record it. I imagine they will. I swear it's impossible to get like just a single game on stream in this format. Gabe, Amsadot, Baltor, that's fun. It's a really cool commander. Yeah, unplayable hand, damn it. Bunch of good cards, but still unplayable. Yeah, this one can work. I can get a green black land with the wind swept. Yeah, this works well. I like this. Ooh, first turn Bizarre Baghdad. Okay, I can dig it. That's not a good elaboration. That doesn't tell me anything. End your turn, dude. Okay, there we go. I really like Gabe. Or Gabe, however you prefer to say it. We can't ask, ask the person ourselves, so... And not paying life. We have no turn one play. Those are... Definitely want your graveyard open. Ooh, thunder. I'm so glad we're getting rain tonight, so it's going to be cooler the next two days. Couldn't resist. Oh god, massacre worm. Oh, that card's horrible. 
I love Vampire Hunt's memes. That art is so pretty. Eric Duchamps, I believe. Yeah. It's actually really hard to read for some reason. Yeah, that bizarre is beautiful. It's nice to actually play games where people get to play these cards with me. I've had these in paper for so long. Like I feel like I'm the only one that can compete with them. Everyone gets mad. Going for a binding with this. That way I've got all four colors. And it comes in untapped, so I will be playing my lightning boots this turn. Tap for Ors Hall. So we need a black or a green, and I've got Saskia ready to go. I just saw my own post in the chat out of the corner of my eye and thought someone would join the chat. Interesting. Doing that with your top on there, that's, that's odd. Doesn't feel right. It's not card advantage. Make sure you put an extra card in your hand. But then you also put the top back in your hand, so it's the same number of cards. And you have to recast the top. I don't know, I don't, I don't see the advantage in that. Maybe I'm completely missing something. Ooh, the darkness. I just had that played against me tonight. It's playing a Ghoul Call Gisa deck. It's really fun to play against. I ended up uh, eating them for breakfast with uh, my good friend Tisa. She's still one of my favorite decks to play. I kept gaining life as Orzhov does and was like well over 50. Well, he was at like 11. And then I just had Chase to so keep sneaking in for lethal. I want to always react to the top. I gotta sit here and react to everything until they use it. Okay. Seems good. I think that it keeps closing up their graveyard. I need to see that shit. It's a graveyard deck. Dude, I'm a soul ring with it. Oh, that's just low. Okay, you were in the Saskia hate. That's it. It's decided. You fuck with my pretty artifacts. And you don't have a reason to. Totally should have waited. Got much better stuff in hand. So, this would probably drive a lot of viewers completely bonkers. Since it's not on camera, I really don't care about mentioning it. So, I got so sweaty at the shop that my leggings and underwear were both wet when I got home. So I'm sitting here streaming with absolutely no pants on. Because I'm just going to go jump in the shower after this. And you can only see me from the waist up anyway. Actually, I think it's like here up. 
you can't even see the bottom of my boobs. So I really don't care that I'm sitting here with no bottoms on. Welcome in the Harold and Kumar second movie at a bottomless party. Ooh, reflecting pool is nice. That makes all four colors. I don't see a three drop. Oh, okay, I'm done. But it got all the manas. All the manas. Which means next turn, Saskia. I might just swing it out of Rasputin for an extra shot. Oh no, it's Phil Bob. That's okay. I've got these two players backwards in my head. Oh damn it, you did it at the end of my turn when I fully yielded. And, yeah. I still haven't responded to the damn thing. Can you believe that meatball? What are we doing here? I wish moving my extra camera around wasn't so difficult. I'd show you the uh, fish tanks some nights. I have some beautiful fish tanks. So I totally lucked out. This is the last of my uh, cannabidiol oil that I've got until my refills arrive. Um, they weren't supposed to be here till Monday, but the tracking number shows they're in Syracuse already. So they're arriving tomorrow. I'm getting uh, cinnamon sugar cookies flavor and sweet raspberry flavor. I'm really excited for both. Those both sound amazing. Sad that I'm not going to have cherry this time because cherry's been so good. What is that for? One, two, three, four, five, five. Okay. It's a good dog ritual. Okay, maybe Saskia toward its bright eyes. Definitely Saskia toward its bright eyes. Kind of glad I didn't have any creatures out for the massacre one feed. What's this thing? Discard a card out black. Oof. I was looking at creatures. Bunch of creatures in play. With nine cards in hand. Fucking stay open. God, I hate that. Seriously, anyone watching the stream, is there a way to keep the graveyard open permanently? Like so it doesn't close up every Freaking five seconds. I would really appreciate not having that close on me constantly. Especially when playing Graveyard Matters decks. Oh, 
smaller cards. Or you're discarding cards to make black mana now. So nice if someone just had a random Wrath of God or Terminus or any kind of board wipe, like, especially ones that exile or put on the bottom. Put them in the graveyard, it doesn't do its problem. You know, just throwing that out there. You gotta play politics in this format. It's fun though. Bluff it, don't just say you have nothing. I'll do. Makes a six, okay. I can dig that. I do not want that massacre where I'm coming back. I don't care about the other ones. That's the one that freaks me out. Is it still up here somewhere? I want to go. I didn't fucking see it anymore. No, that's not a fair play. That's the good news. Max went to the vet today. He had some blood work done, um, got checked for all kinds of things. He does not have cancer. We are very happy. We've been worried about our little fuzzy butt guy. He's getting old. He's a 15 year old cat. Turns out he's just been barfing eight times a day because he's getting sensitive to his diet. We have to put him on a new food. Fingers crossed that's all it's going to take. It's an easy fix. I love our old man. He's a good kitty. Even though he's the reason I can't have tarantulas in the living room anymore. Other than this one. He figured out how to open cages. naughty little boy. He got out one of my African tarantulas, which are a lot more aggressive and uh, more dangerous than him. He almost killed the spider. She ended up dying next time she tried to molt. 
uh, because she couldn't pull out due to the damage she'd taken. And uh, Max got bitten on the paw and had a paw the size of a boxing glove for a few days. I assume he learned his lesson, but we're not putting the cages where he can find them anymore. He knows when we're in the bug room and feeding with the door open, he never comes in now. So I think he's learned that spiders are, are not to be fucked with. Yeah, it's been maybe 10 years since he did that. God, that was so many apartments ago. Other than that, he's never done anything wrong. He's an absolute wonderful cat. He has chewed on a few loaves of bread through the packaging. If you leave them on the kitchen counter at night. I don't get cats in chewing on loaves of bread. It's such a weird thing. Like it's almost universal that cats like to do that. Like I've never heard anyone explain the mentality behind it. But there's got to be some reason to it. If you ever watch like fail videos, you've probably seen the Russian video of the lady chasing a cat through the house with her bread. And like she can't get the cat to let go of it. Cats and bread, man. And only when it's in the bag. If you like give them a slice of bread, they don't fuck with it. Hey Max. What's up, buddy? You wanna come over here? Oh yeah, food time. Now that seems good in this deck. As does that. Now we got a fungus deck. Yay, I think it's time to cast my commander. Let's try and do this right. Let's do red here. Right here, black, and green. I think you need them. You will definitely have red now. But I'm going to attack the person that got rid of my lightning bolts. I can do that. Yay, Saskia. I'm trying to decide what I want next turn. It's probably going to be the Samut. But there's a chance I go for the Helm. Helm would be a lot of fun. Think people are going to scramble to remove that if I play. I don't feel like I'm going to see that card again. Not sure why. So is it going to be herbal or cabal copper? It's probably going to be herbal. My lands already are a pain in the ass to tap. I don't mind my Tavia becoming a triple land or secret foundry. Try lands are fun. Called it. So that makes bizarre tap for mana now. It's usually the trick I go for when I'm playing lands that don't tap for mana. No matter what color the deck is, you can always play Urborg. Makes that maze of its tabernacle, bizarre, or whatever even better. this. Okay.
Let's see if someone on here can answer me. I'm sure there's got to be a way to do it that I'm just totally missing. Uh, here's where the trouble starts. Yeah, I think I want to play Homo Host so I can target it to uh, build up with uh, the second Saskia. as annoyed as I am about the graveyard doing it all. You thirsty? Do I need to get you some water? I can't get up while I'm on camera because of the no pants thing. Where are you going, Meatball? Are you just being cute on camera? You're always cute on camera. Hmm, Mary is kind of nice. Yeah, I'm going to work with a helmet of host. Hopefully make people a little nervous with what that's capable of doing. Can't equip it till next turn, sadly. It's like having a double strike commander.
I really like this two card combo. What you doing over there, Fuzzfly? Hey, I'm actually able to respond to it. Can I see that? I opened it and immediately closed. Nixon, Delta, and the Chaos, and Agent of Erebus, the Graveyard Exiler. Yep. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to pull that out of the graveyard and copy it. Should ruin their day. Okay, I finally get to respond to this. So I'm not overly passing my turn, I'm not like, I'm going to respond to each card, so they see that I can respond. Them seeing an untapped land that produces any color, it tells them I might have a card in hand to do something with, like a sort of the plowshares or something. So by making sure they see that I'm stopping for each one of these, they kind of think twice about things they want to do. Random little tricks. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. What are we doing here? Drawing card. Oh, poop. Hashtag not okay. That's cute. And I'm playing non-blue. Should have put a couple of counter spells in here, but I like the white ones. Just to fuck with people. Don't massacre one on this back. That could be an always healed. Ooh, it's a good one. I like that art. Out of all the old ones, I think that's the best start. Targeting, okay. Makes sense. Oh, I can't even keep the exile zone open now. Her arm is so mean. Gonna plus for the rest of this turn. With the massacre or not, my bluff is no good anymore. I've already made it clear I want that thing exiled. Pretty sure I put Terminus in this deck. Hope I did. I don't know. Was I smart enough to put Terminus in here? It's a sorcery. It looks like I've only got... Okay, I've got Merciless Eviction. I have one option. Not the God's not going to do a damn thing right now. So I've got Demonic Tutor and Merciless Eviction. Either way, I'm only at five land. Jeez. 
Jeez, that deck is gross. I have never seen a Balthor deck this good. Put it on the case. Makes sense. Everything's got uh, some of these thickness over there. This is the newest Delver. Okay. Good choice. Very good choice. That needed to be exiled. Always do that. Leave the cursor in the chat and then my macros just want to type. I still prefer I'm on the keys I move them over to. The bigger keys, they're easier for me to see and press without missing. As I said, this hand has nerve damage, so it's not the most accurate in the world. I mean, there's tiny little F keys that are like that big. Like I'd go for uh, F6 and F8 and just totally miss them at something else. And then I think I pressed the button and I haven't, and I just sit there and waste everyone's time. I'm enjoying playing Bright Eyes. I think I'm going to add them to my friends list. I like that they're playing a powerful deck, but not a broken deck. It's a big difference. Big, big difference. Oh, I love this card. I had a friend that loves to play things like Sepulling decks. And so uh, when he moved, he moved uh, to another state recently. So when he left, I had him sign 
my uh, my tender shoot triad. He still comes on in my chat on the stream every so often. If you see uh, a gender nerd, that is my fungus loving friend. He collects spores, molts, and fungi. Very old Ghostbusters reference there. And for the record, I like both Ghostbusters, the original and the remake. The remake was really good. And I hope to God they get to make a sequel of it. And if they don't, just because a whole bunch of sexist assholes bitched, I'm going to be furious. Hey. I will pay. Because I was being dumb and not realizing that was in my hand. It's not a unintentionally bluffing. Yay! Hope to god they don't have a sack out what I'm forgetting about. That was very lucky. Remember kids, always pack your board wipes into your deck. Even in the most aggressive builds that want their creatures, you're gonna need them. As you saw from the deck list, this is a really aggressive deck. Also with the weird draw this game. But, uh, but yeah, we needed a board wipe. And that was the right one too. Now the graveyard's mostly empty. Only two of us are going to get that. I don't even remember the name of the card that did it. I'm going to exile my merciless addiction. I would recommend exiling it. I do have eternal like this in here. Is it gone? Is it going to be gone? Now's the time to do it. You better do it. I don't think he's going to do it.
Where do you think you're going, Sully? Boop. And we're going to do the tummy rub on the camera because it's so cute. Come on, go, Sully. She has such a cute fuzzy tummy. I love my meatball. I still can't believe someone whose deck I've been playing lately in Modern. I end up having almost the exact same name as his cat for my spider. His cat's name Chubby Meatball. Are you going to try to climb out again? Do control. Okay, you just want to have a creature. I guess that works. So part of me is wondering if I could do two of these a day on the weekends to give myself some extra time off from doing deck a day. No way I'm not literally doing every single day for the next 130 days. I don't know. I may take days off here and there just for mental health. But you will be seeing 130 commander decks in a row pretty much every single day. I just have to factor in I'm, I'm autistic. Things are going to come up. I may need time to myself every once in a while. Oh, that works. Where's all my chat room buddies tonight? Normally my chat's jumping. Not used to seeing it completely empty until like two in the morning. Okay, meatballs laying down again. Saw those legs shuffle into comfy spots. Spider nap time again. She's such a cute pie. I wonder why they're not playing their uh, commander over there. Not for sure, I would have seen the opposite that by now. Is this him finally? He you know, says he's not there during your opponent's turns. And what counter says a snake? Those are neat. for the turn. Obviously that was fine. That one in the back looks so weird, but it's fucking Tasa's uncle. It doesn't make any sense to me how that's Tasa's uncle. Oh, he actually sits in the exile pile on here. I flip him upside down in paper magic. That way I don't forget about him. So for the very first time, I had something happen in Paper Magic that made me wish I was playing online. Um, it was Fairy Artisans, the one that makes a token whenever a new creature comes into play. We kept forgetting what the fuck the creature was that was supposed to be in play. And like, we're missing triggers all over the place. And I was like seriously wishing it was on here because it's so much easier to keep track of that kind of stuff.
what you're doing over there, Bright Eyes. I'm waiting on you. I'm sure about some ships over here. I hate that I can't get up because I'm not wearing pants. I'm afraid of that being seen on camera as I walk away. Yeah, that's creep. Trying to coordinate something fun with a bunch of magic friends on Saturday. Keep getting messages about it. Yay, we have Gabe, King of the Fungi. Psychologist. Ooh, that's a cool card. That needs to go on my list. Wow, eight cent foil. Yeah, I want the foil. Looking to see if I have anything that I can cover the camera up with for a moment. This should probably do. Let me make sure. Oh, do I? Yep, I'll be right back. He is grabbing the snacks. Boop. Yay, you didn't see my butt on camera. Or the tattoos I've got on it. And I got cheese X. Seven land. And I've got to be holding all these five drops, a three drop, and my commander costs six. I think I'll just recast the commander. So picky about the land when you do that. Yep, you're getting twatted it again. And I'm done. That one is done. Not attacking this turn. I know better.
I'm not at liberty to talk about what's going on, sir. It's going to be awesome though. It's going to include fireworks and grilled hamburgers and a swimming pool and alcohols. Probably some fancier stuff than what I have in my day. Probably some paper magic. It's a lot of lands in the graveyard. Hope you guys don't mind I'm snacking on camera. I'm just feeling snappy right now. So I'll probably drop a pretzel on the floor and can't make me hit my own mouth. I hate this fucking hand sometimes. It's proof on camera of the hand tremors that make me drop shit. That is really good. I've been looking for something like that. Three cents. What the fuck? God, I love online magic. I'm still surprised you have an exile of merciless eviction. Really, really should. There we go. Never underestimate this card. This is one of the better uh, creatures in black, like a low drop. It's a lot of decks that are dependent on their graveyard nowadays. Being able to pluck off cards at instant speed for one mana, whichever one you want. Like, don't overlook that. after one person. Hmm. That's why it's not going to get. Oh, sword. Such a good sword. It's the best sword. I should probably shave my legs in the shower tonight for Saturday. I'm getting a little sasquatchy. Jeez, our deck is down to 51 cards already. Everyone else is still in the 80s. Do you remember the good old days when YouTube had a 10 minute cap on videos? I don't miss those days.
So I'm really glad anyone can post whatever they want now. I just need to get more subscribers so I can monetize that shit. Be nice to get a couple dollars a month off of it just to pay for some other magic stuff. I do like I do my tarantulas where when I sell babies I breed. Just pays for new pet tarantulas. Use my magic to pay for more magic. That's my only goal. I think that's reasonable, right? What the fuck is in the radio that you want back? There's only one thing, right? Yeah, just new scrap them all. So the rest of us are gonna get turns, right? Like, you notice how we're all like 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 18 minutes. It's like two players definitely dominating the time over here. Take faster turns. Hi, right, Obsidat. Not a surprising target. I think this turn I make a second Saskia and cast Miri as well. Depends on what mana I'm going to have access to though. Let's see my top deck. That's pretty good. I gotta fly over and do some damage. I need some life gain. I might swing with that vampire if I were them. Swing the vampire at Lily. Knock her down to one. Gain two life. Put a counter on everything. Oh, that'd be my path I'd probably take. Hey, I called it. It's almost like I'm sometimes good at this shit. Some flyers there, Stoner. Oh, yeah. Hello, Archangel of Doom. That's, she's in my, uh, she's in my Tesla deck. I did quite a bit of, uh, a pumping tonight. Saved a bunch of my stuff from Elish Norn, too, when I got stolen out of my graveyard. Meatball, do you have a nice little snooze over there? I think micro sleeps. Still laying down silk everywhere. You ripped up a spot. That's where you were eating though.
mycologist is adorable. I actually have a friend who's a mycologist. I swear, I should get a copy of that card, like in paper, for him. With a copy of Zoologist signed by me and make him sign a copy of uh, Mycologist to send back to me. Mycologist is someone that studies fungi, by the way. It's not obvious. A zoologist is someone that studies animals, which is what I do. Granted, I focus on spiders, but I do have a general zoology background. I'm climbing back out again. I'll touch your toes. I'll touch your toes. You tickle your toes. Silly girl. I swear, she has the perfect personality for what I needed. I really love my goofy little meatball. Hey, I get a turn again. It's been a while. Okay, so I have three, four. I do not have mana to do two things. Unless I want to do Odric and Miri. I mean, that's a thing. If they both. Oh, they would both have haste. Maybe I do do this. Okay, that one white. Green and one. Then I want white and anything. Hey, look at all those shared abilities now. Well, I think I should smack someone in the face. I wish I had some flying. I can wait and play Robos next turn, but next turn is a long time away. So all my creatures gain first strike. Vigilance and haste. Okay. Send everyone over that way. That fits good. Only one thing can block. Yep, that works for me. None of my creatures will die. It sucks that I can't tap Miri, so I can only be attacked by one thing. Let's see what happens. God damn, Odrick's useful. Mary with the zombie, that's fine. She has first strike. So we need to twelve total. It's not bad for the couple of creatures that ended up attacking. Doing gate to Phyrexia. Yeah, I'll just grow my helm. Nah, that's fair. 
Sad I never got to use it. God damn, is it an expensive card though. Four to cast, five to equip. You pull it off though. It's gonna do some work. Then you're gonna eat it out of the grave now. I just have to watch up here for what's to screen. Since I can't keep the graveyard open long enough to find out. Phyrexian Ghoul, what is this? Okay, why is it she show me the card? I'm just plussing through this turn because it takes so goddamn long and I don't want to respond to 70 triggers. Maybe it isn't obvious. Plus is where I move the F8 thing. I like that giant plus button on the side of my keyboard. But it's not right next to my one for passing single priority. Ooh, there's the lily with the dress I want. I want that dress. I will wear that shit everywhere. It's fucking gorgeous. Oh, I love the shit Lily wears. I'm such a goth at heart. As I sit here in my Harley Quinn top. From a graveyard. Ooh, that's a thing. Freaky artwork. Up. Oh my god, it's only two cents. Jesus Christ. Yep, two cents it is. Yay, all my guys gain abilities. First strike, comma, commander. Not coming my way. But the might. Some come my way? Nope, they're all going and rescuing me. Okay. You really want that player dead. I'll try and make sure you're dead in a second. Throw in some loot and share some double strike on this next combat. Or flying. Doesn't really matter either way. I think we might survive this. And walk the big one, yep. Yeah, he's still alive. Or was that just first strike damage? Okay. Let's 
recorded. I missed something there. Saskia hasn't done a great deal of things this game. But we have saved the game a couple times. Maybe just once. The Merciless Eviction. That was very well needed. Yeah, I think she might be the next best thing to play. Just get that double strike on the table. The flying is nice, don't get me wrong. But I'd like to deal the extra damage. Because I think that'll let me hit somebody else. and still kill Bright Eyes at the same time. God, their turns take so long. Probably a new scrap mod. Oh my god, that card's getting so much traction. Oh, maybe I need to get one. Never owned that card. Two cents. God, it's ridiculous. Hmm, that's interesting. I assume so they can block one of these. It's the thing though, I don't have to attack you to kill you. I attack someone else. So end your damn turn already. Don't even say what it milled. Solomon for Arena. Jesus. All that work just to find that out. It seems like something worth fixing. Do you have a kill spell for the top? It's like the only time you could. I'm confused as to what just happened there. Did anything happen there? No, I tapped. Walkers on me. It was really useful. Hope they find that funny. It's meant as a joke. Hardly serious. Like seriously, dude, you're about to die. I'm totally gonna kill you if it gets back to me and I saw these three creatures.
a reminder I'm doing an EVA check every single day. If you have a request, let me know. This one was a request. Someone said they just want a four color commander, so I did Saskia. One of the underappreciated four color commanders. So I essentially sat here 20 minutes more for their turns than my own. I've only played 10 minutes of magic. That's no good. That does hurt. Oh, poo. I thought I had him dead on my turn. Couple the sack and then gain two life draw card. That's what I would do. There we go. That's what it looks like. And exile them. And we're going to get two from the Golgari germination anyway. I don't know why you would have made that last time. Oh, they have to go to the graveyard, right? Yeah, they have to go to the graveyard. Okay. Details. you misjudge? Did what it was supposed to do. Board wiped. Killed all your shit too. Mm -hmm. How do you have basics left in your deck? You've done so much digging. Oh my god. I don't mind a super powered deck, but oh my god, take shorter turns. Yes, you are the mayor of Value Town, I get it. You're so gonna time out before you have any chance of winning this. At the rate you're going. Ugh. You're like out of mana. What are you doing? Oh, you have that. Yeah, Songs of the Damned. That's right. I'm not going to try to count how many it is this time because I know it won't. Let me look. Okay. I'm actually going to get my creatures back. I'm fine with this. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can change that sentence to gotta gain a lot of life. You can take off the real quick. This is definitely the most tuned Balthor deck I've ever seen. I appreciate that it doesn't lock people out of going, but it, god damn, it needs to take shorter turns. I had a Rush Me deck like this, and I stopped playing it because I was dominating the game. Like, my one turn would take double the time the other three people took every turn. Like the three of them combined, is what I mean. Like, that's no fun for everyone else. You don't want to play it like that. So much for having time to shave my legs tonight. Guess I'm doing that and painting my two nails on Saturday. over yet. Oh my god, I think it's over. Into the life game. Oh, you were the one talking about it. Okay. Share in the first strike. I might just place some loot. Go for the one that way. Oops. I just have to swing the two creatures over there. God taking himself out. That's just goofy. I appreciate them going out before the attack was made. So there's no way still attacking. Oh wow, all of that player. So I'm not sure what I want to do with my next turn. I know I'd like to take this player out. Okay. 
because Saskia targeting uh, Dolgov. No 20 though. That complicates things. I might need some it to win. It's only 18 damage. Doing all the combat math now. Is such a bomb. Is Ghost Daddy going away? Actually, naming him after a Cosby movie doesn't sound right anymore. It's no more Ghost Dad. the other person asking. I don't know if they're even still watching. There the loss. That's a thing. God damn it, did it again. A lot of mushrooms. Who's that weird looking one, too? It's kind of like what Meatball looks like when she's climbing out of the cage at me. Okay, I can take that. No arguments here. I'm planning on playing some extra critters myself. Well, I'm one more short of casting Sasuke again. That's not good. Why do I have to draw all my most expensive cards this game? My curve on this deck is normal. It's a normal curve. Peaks at three. Can I really just swing in with a two two? It's a falling look that's pretty low key. If I get a land, I'll recast Sasuke, and if not, I'll go with Samut. I'm going with Samut. I want to leave a green white open. A green red, I mean. Let's go with red. White. Let's not make it too obvious what I'm holding up. Oh my god, they're at 18 now. That 2 damage actually meant something. Don't take out my speed move. Unless they've got like a settled wreckage or something. Just in case they've got something there. I don't want to send it to I'm sure. You can do all your options. 
to want to bleed. Oof. This is why we did it. I see you over there, Meatball. Another response. No, you don't. No, no, no. Almost forgot I had that door. I was trying to. Going to die to fungi, probably. Take a meatball sweet. The legs are so soft and fuzzy. And believe it or not, tarantulas are really, really fuzzy and soft. It's like almost velvety, especially on the underside, like when I tickle her tummy. Technically, I'm tickling her chin. If you want to get specific about the uh, anatomy there. Eyes and bone splinters. I don't like the bone splinters. I have a feeling some roots gonna go away. It wouldn't surprise me if Odric gets chosen though. Odric's a real fucking good. He's the one sharing all these keywords, making my deck even better. Seriously, it doesn't really matter what your deck's built around. Almost any white deck can benefit by having Odric in it. And he's very splashable. Like, even if he's just sharing flying around your team, like, that's really powerful. First strike, double strike. Oh, that's an interesting target. That's a really good choice with the tokens over there. Play Ravos and get her back. What else does this do? Okay. I don't know why I checked who they were attacking. As a joke. Are you going for it again, silly beans? That's what I thought. Don't you go for it. Don't you try it. Yeah, I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna tickle your fuzzy legs. Why are you attacking with the 2 2? What is the reasoning of attacking with this? You're completely tapped out on mana. I'm gonna block it. 
want to force that in through. Can't think of any reason that they would be attacking with that. Here's the double block, so if we did have a way to boost it, I'd still kill it. That's what that was for, for anyone wondering. That way you don't let those combo tricks take advantage of you. See this person? God, why does it look like that? I've seen that once before. She's not bad. Don't have anything I can reanimate with her though. I think I go Ravos here. safe to attack. I'm trying to do the math on the double strike. I think I'm good to go. You do not like this turn of events. Oh no. Digging for options, more prefer that than sacking them to make them bigger, which is the math I was trying to do. So no blockers. Can be a lot of damage. Yeah, that, that added up quite a bit. There's a chance I might win this game. Holy shit. I did not think I would. Do you want a pretzel meatball? That's not on your diet list, is it? I tried. She's just not into it. That's really good. At least we're getting Miriam back next turn. So I have Miri and Alasha swinging on top of all these other ones. Ladies assisted by two dudes. Gabe! What you got for me with the Gabe? You can make two dudes, which will actually be four dudes.
many fire drops are in this deck? Nine. That's probably why I drew so many. It's higher than I normally like. I don't know how I missed that when I was designing this. Yeah, they're just digging for cards. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Good guess, Robles. Yes, 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 everybody. All the abilities can be shared. Oh yeah, we got flying shared anyway. This is dangerous. Attack with everything. Vigilant. Vigilant flying, double strike, first strike, hasty. We need some light flank in that mix. So yay, this is Saskia. Saskia is fun. That was a really fun deck to play. Even with drawing weird stuff that... Yeah, we got way too many 5 drops that game. Let's see, which ones did we not draw? We didn't draw the Geoscope. I think that was game 1. Didn't get a Symbol of Legion, Ankle Shanker, or Morari's Wake. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, the deck worked beautifully. It was able to do what it needed to do and got the win. So yeah, that's Saskia, everybody. Don't forget, go down there, follow my Twitter, at SkySpider. You'll see this video and all my others up on YouTube later. That's Jade Skywalker, my full name. And you can find all my music on any download and streaming websites under the name The Eternal. So, saying goodnight for Meatball and myself, and uh, join us tomorrow while I do another deck a day. If you have a uh, suggestion for tomorrow's commander, feel free to hit me up on my Twitter, and we'll see if we can build it. Have a good night, everyone.